everyone. My name is Ashley. I'm an analog collage artist and zinester, and today we are going to make a few collages. I have no particular ideas or inspiration. I just want to create for creation's sake. And I hope at this point you take out your collage materials and create along with me. I have cultivated a gigantic stack of images from different life magazines spanning from the mid 1940s to the early 1960s. And I want to do one of my favorite parts of the collage process and just go through the stack and see what I want to use. I am going to make two separate files to my right things I want to use right away and to my left things I'm going to save for later. And right off the bat, the two images on top I'm really interested in this woman's eyes and these flames. I'm thinking we can do something cool with them together and I want to go a little abstract today so just have fun play around with colors and textures so we're gonna put this in the yes pile loving this profile yes pile always love images of space so also going to go in the yes pile hopefully this whole pile isn't a yes because it's going to make narrowing things down very difficult Speaking of yes, I saw this photo and I was immediately struck by it. I think that there's a lot we can do. We can cut off the top of the head or the bottom of the head and use the eyes, which are really expressive. We could put something in the mouth. We could really play with this. So yes, pile. Made in form ads are always a lot of fun. Yes, pile. Our first maybe. These men are also a maybe. Debutantes, maybe. Ooh, Let's see what we have here. We have some text, Fury, Fears, Phobias. So let's put that in the yes pile. And guy making a silly pose, we'll put in the later pile. I like these guys a lot, but I think that this would be perfect for a zine. So later pile. I cut out this image of the road, which I thought could be really cool texture. So yes, pile. Dreamy image of woman, maybe pile. I love this for texture. So I'm gonna put this in the yes pile. I have an obsession with images of geishas. I think there's something very beautiful about them, very serene, very calming. So for sure, I want to play around. Let's put her in the yes pile. More textures. I'm thinking yes pile. Maybe. I always uh, clip out these collections of ads for zine backgrounds. So later pile, hand, later pile. I cut out this image of this cartoon strip for texture, so yes pile, hand, later pile. I love this image um, so much so that I almost don't want to cut it out, but I was really struck by the arms and these hands. So I'm reluctant, but I want to put it in the yes pile. TV ads, later. I have further refined my yes pile down into images for two separate collages. I want to start with a geisha inspired collage first. So I'm going to set this aside for right now. I apparently was going through something when I was slipping through these magazines and I have not one, not two, but three separate images of geishas that I can use. And again, I am always drawn to them because of their beauty, because of their sereneness, and because of the interesting culture behind what a geisha is, what the job is, what it represents. And I think that I want to do something that will reflect their beauty and their complexity. But first, I have to decide which image I want to use. I'm most interested in this one in the center. 
I think this strip we can save for something later. This one is the most appealing to me, although I like these two together. But I'm leaning towards having her be the main character. So let's set this one aside for a later collage. I was really interested in all of these different pinks and like blues that I found. I love the colors on this ad, so I want to use them and pair them with what looks like coral to me, although, let's see, it's a cavern. According to the, the caption, it's some type of cavern. Um, it's, it's one of those things <laughs> with collage art where like sometimes like we rip things out of books and we don't take the time to like read what the thing is. Um, but yeah, I like this and I wanted to pair it with these colors here. I also really love these roses. And I thought I could do something interesting with this text, but maybe not. Maybe that's too loud. And I liked these mountains. I thought they could be interesting texture and for the background I wanted to play with this ad for different records so where to start with all of this I think we just cut out our geisha begin there uh, for scissors I am using these beautiful champagne gold from a Japanese company called Nakabayashi and I use two pairs of scissors a larger pair to cut away all of the paper excess and to sometimes cut out larger objects. And then my favorite scissors of all time, these are the Fiskars Nonstick Precision Scissors. And I use these for exactly what they are, uh, precision close cuts. So begin with our larger scissors and cut out her basic shape. Remove all the extra pages. And the reason why I do that instead of jumping in with the precision scissors is because when you cut things down, you have less paper to really fight with when you're trying to cut something out. Um, I am slightly bothered by the blurriness on her sleeve. So I was thinking about cutting that out, but it's only a slight irritant. So let's keep it for now. Maybe we can cover it up with something. I also love these scissors, um, not only for how close of a cut you can get with them, but also because they are very, very comfortable to use. You don't have to stick your fingers through any holes, you just use the handle. And just taking my time to cut things out. Cutting is my absolute favorite part of the collage process. Sometimes when I get bored or overstimulated, I will just take a stack of images and cut things out on my own. I find it to be very calming and lovely. That thing I said about having less paper to cut with, or to fight with rather, is proving to be very true. And the reason why I'm moving so slow here is because I believe I cut this out of a 1959 Life magazine and if you breathe on old paper wrong, you tear it. And I am going to be ripping up some of these papers in a little bit, but this one I don't want to. So I really, really want to be careful. Okay, next, I'm thinking, I originally wanted to use these hills, but I'm kind of attracted to the sky, to be honest. So I'm just gonna rip that right out. Save our hills for later. And trim off the paper excess.
for this. I want to use this for texture and I want these pinky red roses. So just going to rip off what I want. Save the rest for later. It's one of those things where it's kind of important to keep your scraps because you never know when you might want to use something again. And there are people who can make whole collages just out of their scraps. I've never attempted that before, but I think that might be an idea that I want to explore sometime. Okay. I just really thought that this was fun. I love these old ads for records. And this is one of those things that like, it was like dying out in my lifetime, CDs, tape ads. Um, so they're really fun to use. I just want to throw this in the background. So I'm not sure which of this I want to use. I'm going to cut the border. Actually, you know what? Let's just use half. Cut it right in half. I don't want all of it. For this, I wanted the colors and I want this pink, some of the pink. It is so satisfying to rip paper. If you are, haven't done it, give it a try. I can't describe it. The noise, the sound, it just feels so good. Uh, do I want to save her? Not really. Put that in the trash pile. And finally, I was really attracted to this side. So yeah, we'll just rip it. Rip it up. Here we have our main elements. We have our subject, our geisha some textured pieces to go around her. I'm thinking that we need one more object, something to ground this in. And again, I wanna go more abstract. I'm not really wanting to tell a story necessarily. I really just wanna capture her beauty. And I was thinking with the records, the reason why I pulled it out and wanted it for background, that sense of entertainment that is part of her duties. So. That's what I'm trying to say with this, but I don't really need like a narrative necessarily, but I want something else to go with this. I have uh, to the side of me a stack of books that I use often. Um, this one is a children's book. This is my second copy of this actually. It's a, as you can read, <laughs> it's uh, Planets. I really like on the cover this image of Saturn. So maybe, We'll use that. I think the colors could be interesting. Just have to find it. And I'm actually going to rip this out. I'm always looking for pictures of the earth for a series that I've been working on all year. So remember where that is. Find Saturn. here. And in my rock and gem book, is there anything sort of pinky, bluey, purpley? Actually, I want to use this piece for the second collage as well. That one I think might be a little bit more complicated than this one. We shall see though. And again, just looking. I don't really have any, again, I don't have any ideas for anything at all, but I just want to see if there is another object that might... These rocks are pretty. Let's see. I'm gonna rip something out of a book. We gotta double check and make sure there's nothing more interesting on the other side. There is not. And I'm liking both the rocks and the sky here. I just wanna go ahead and rip it. It's the tearing episode of this little collage series that we have going. Uh, just 
play with these edges. And I don't know if I'm going to use all of this stuff, if I'm going to use any of this stuff, I might change my mind. But for now, we're just playing. I do, I thought I wanted to use the Saturn, although it's a little more vibrant than I was thinking it was. Although that might just be because of some things that I haven't decided on if I want to use for sure yet. Let us cut it out. I want to save this matte black paper so that can go in the scrap. I don't want to tear everything. Let me cut that out because so I don't want to tear everything off. I just want to save the paper. And this is an occasion for the large scissors to cut out bigger objects. Cutting um, rounded or circular objects can be a little tricky. A technique that I saw from another collage artist is to keep your scissors still and slowly feed the paper into your blades. And that's how you don't make a larger mess out of things. Let's just take your time. I was going through, I was organizing my clippings for the first time ever, to be honest with you. And I found a stack of planets that I cut out from when I first started collaging, and they were all incredibly lumpy. That was before I learned this technique. So I've been collaging for about two years now. It's been an amazing journey, and I've learned so much in the time that I've been doing it. I'm going to remove this black space between the ring. Save our paper. And if I was alone, which, you know, forget it. People are watching, but I'm going to do what I do because I don't want to use my exacto knife. I'm just going to cut directly through this image and take out the black space between the rings. It, don't do this. Get an exacto knife that I just cast aside and do it the proper way. Although, you know what? You can do whatever you want in collaging because it doesn't matter because when I put it together, you won't notice that I cut through everything. You won't notice and it will be just fine. I'm also going to take my precision scissors and clean up a little bit of the sloppy lines. And that's where these really come in handy. Just to correct a few of my errors. Okay. I'm still not 100% certain about the Saturn. It's a little, it's a little loud. It's a little louder than what I'm trying to say here. And even though I just took the time to cut that out, I don't want it and that's fine. I don't think we need an object necessarily. I think that these pieces are just okay. So. I want to collage in my sketchbook today. My sketchbook is something that I've been using more often, and it's really a great place to explore. So let's do a quick flip through of it. And to be honest, um, I thought that I would get a sketchbook and just do, just play around with it. But a lot of things I put in the sketchbook, I've actually made prints of and sold a few. So this one I've sold a print of. I just cleaned it up in Photoshop. This one I made a print of. This one was just a fun experimental piece. This one I made prints of and is still one of my favorite collages that I've done this year. This is only five elements, I believe, and I was just really emotionally impacted when I made this. So I made prints of it. This one I've made a print of, and this is part of an ongoing series that I've been working on all year called The World Is Yours. This one was another experimental piece. Uh, this piece I made using elements of a collage kit from an artist named Luis Martin. 
This piece I made prints of and sold and is available on my Etsy, link in the description bar. This is from a piece I started but haven't finished. And now we have a blank page. And I should mention this sketchbook is nine by 12 made out of mixed media paper. So very, very cool, very durable to use. And because most of the elements that I'm using today are from Vintage Life magazines, instead of glue, I will be using this very messy roll of adhesive squares. I was a very slow convert to these, but I find them to be really interesting and very helpful for these such occasions. So let's start playing around with composition here. And we're just gonna make different layers, beginning in the very back with our strip of albums. And it's a little too tall, so let's rip, 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 rip some more. Okay. I want her to not be on the dead center of the page, but instead a little off to the side, which is a thing you can see that I do on occasion, just put it off to the side. I think it makes for something a little bit more interesting. Um, 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 let's see. I'm just going very intuitively here. It's been a process just working intuitively not thinking too much. And with an, a more abstract piece, you don't necessarily have to just go based on the vibes. I want more of a grungy look down here. And I want these roses up here. We're just shaping as we go along, doing some more tears. I'm a little concerned that she's getting lost and I wanna bring her out more. So I'm gonna take some of that pink that I just trimmed off and I have, these are fun. I like to keep these on my desk. Um, they're little hole punches. I have a square one and a circle one in different sizes. It appears that I only have this little one. So let me see if I have, if this is big enough to put behind her head maybe. Oh, you know what we can do? Um, I don't want to use all of the planet and I am a little worried that this would be a waste of a perfectly good Saturn, but let's use some of this color. Put behind her, make her pop out a little more. Get some more of that color in here. There we go. That helps just bring some more attention to her. I think, I think it does. Do we want this pink? Um, <laughs> we hum as we think, we hum when we think. I'm a little bothered by her sleeves, but we need our sleeves, they're important. I want something, let's move this over a bit more. And are these circles blending in? They're helping her pop off. Um, I, want, I want more of this color. I wish I can get to this strip here. Ah, sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing for my clumsiness. There we go. Now, we have some sky, which I think could just break up all of this pink, this, this blue and make it a little less monochromatic. But if I, if I put it there, I'm hiding it. There we go. This is disappearing. And there's no point in using it if we're not gonna show it off because it can be used for something later, some other color blocking. And I think that's all we have room for. Hmm. 
I wonder if this could go behind her and help her stand out. Hold on. Let's see. The circles are an idea, though. And I almost ripped her head off. That's what happens when we're not paying a lot of attention. Get a little sloppy. Okay. I don't believe that I like that. I don't like that there. I like all of this. I think that this is a little too muted. Yeah, I like I like this as it is. I do want I have these that I just popped out. I just wish I had something to go along her body to help pop her out more, even more. But I don't know what that would be. Maybe this would cover up the records. It is helping though. I think it's helping. Let's move this further to the side. Or what happens if, okay, wait, let's put this to the side for just a moment. Put the roses against her. Put her towards the bottom. We have our sky, which I liked. And it's okay if we have, I, originally I was a little bothered, but it's okay if we have white space there. I think that's fine. Having said that, maybe it's an opportunity to put the pink back, some of the pink back. There we go. I'm feeling that. I like this. I like this a lot better. This is this is better for me. Um, I like how the colors are playing together. I think the roses helps help her stand out more. We still have some of the albums. Um, what's the word? Visible. So I think it's still helping tie the story of entertainment together that I'm envisioning in my head. And just because I cut out these circles again, you don't have to use things that you cut out necessarily. You can always, it's what editing is for, but I just want to use one of them. And I chose that one. I wish she just had little, little fingers. Just so, cause that sleeve is bugging me. But I think that this is collage number one. So I'm going to start taping everything down. I don't tape or glue until I am absolutely certain of a composition. I know that some collage artists tape along the way I am quite indecisive, and especially when I'm using these adhesive squares, they don't have very, in my opinion, and I don't know if this is true or not, but in my experience, in my opinion, they don't have very good re-stick abilities. So like if I were to peel this off, it's very hard to move things around once I have them taped down. So when I'm using them, I really have to be sure. It's, it's, it feels very permanent. final collage. I really love how this turned out. I think that this has 
some really great color and a lot of interest to it. And we still have one more to make, but because this took me quite a bit of time, we are going to save that for part two. So make sure to tune in, especially if you enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for future content. Check me out on my website, www.chaoticcollage.com, as well as my Etsy, Instagram, and TikTok. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.